Hi friends, welcome to Exams Daily YouTube channel. Today in this video, we can see about the current affairs of 10-11-2020. Before that, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and click the bell icon for more details. The first affairs is national affairs. The first news is Central government renames Ministry of Shipping as Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways. It was announced by PM Modi. Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, made the announcement of renaming of Ministry of Shipping as Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways. This announcement was made during the inaugural event which was held in Ropax Ferry Service between Koha, that is Bhavanagar and Hazira, near Surat in Gujarat. They have also said that the inaugural event in in the inaugural event he said that the Ropex ferry service will reduce nearly 370 km road distance between the two places that is Goha and Hazira up to 90 km by sea route. And more about the Ministry of Ports, Shipping and Waterways is the Union Ministry of this is Manshuk L. Mandavia and the constituency is Rajya Shabha that is in Gujarat. The next news is fast tags made compulsory from 1st January 2021 for all four wheelers. The Ministry of Road Transport and Highways has ordered fast tags has released order during uh, making fast tags mandatory for all four wheeler vehicles including the old vehicles from 1st January 2021. The central government has been promulgated uh, central motor vehicles rules that is 1989. The fast tag has been made mandatory for all registration of new four-wheeled vehicles since 1st November 2017. The fast tag is nothing but an electronic toll collection system in India and was operated by the National Highway Authority of India. The more details about the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways is the Union Minister of Road Transport and Highways Ministry is Nitin Katkari and the Minister of State is VK Singh. The next news is Union Minister Hardip Singh Puri inaugurated 13th Urban Mobility Indian Conference. Union Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs that is uh, Hartip Singh Puri has in inaugurated 13th Urban Mobility Indian Conference on the topic of emerging trends in urban mobility. The conference focused on the innovative measures taken at the international and national levels in order to address the challenges posed by the COVID-19 situation to provide convenient and accessible transport to people. The next is about Nidhi Ayok's Atal Innovation Mission and Cyrus in Innovation Program 3.0. Atal Innovation Mission, that is aim of Nidhi Ayok and Cyrus, unveiled AIM Cyrus Innovation Program 3.0, a 14 day ritual program for Indian and Russian school children. The two week program is being held from 7 November and it will be ending on 21st November 2020. And the main objective of AIM Cyrus program is to develop technological solutions for both web and mobile based for the two countries. And next we can see about the international affairs. The first is 8th Corps Commander level talks was held between India and China at Chushal. The 8th round of India-China Corps Commander level meeting was held in Chushal. During the meeting ensure their frontline troops to exercise, restraint and avoid misunderstanding and miscalculation. The two sides also agreed to maintain dialogue and uh, communication through military and diplomatic channels only. They have said like that. And more about details about China is, the president of China is Xi Jinping and the capital of China is Beijing and the currency which is used is renminbi. And the next news is US President Joe Biden constituted task force for COVID-19. It was co-chaired by former Surgeon General Vivek Murthy. United States President Joe Biden declared that he will constitute a task force to tackle COVID-19 situation. The task force will be co-chaired by former Surgeon General Vivek Murthy. Vivek Murthy was also earlier appointed as Surgeon General under the presidency of Barack Obama, who was a former US President. And the other members of this task force are Food and Drug Administration uh, Commissioner David Kessler and Marcella Nunez Smith, a professor of public health at Yale University. And more about the United States is 
the president that is the new president of uh, us is joe biden and the capital of us is washington dc and the currency which was used is us dollar and next we can see about the state affairs the first news is Uttarakhand celebrated its statehood day on November 9 that is yesterday Uttarakhand state government has celebrated its statehood day on Uttarakhand Divas on November 9 it was formed on this day in 2000 after bifurcating it from Uttar Pradesh that is it is separated from Uttar Pradesh on November 9 only and then the president of india that is k r narayanan approved the uttar pradesh reorganization bill on 28th august 2000 and then it turned into act and on november 9 2000 the new state uttar uttaranchal came into existence as the 27th state of india and now known as uttarakhand earlier it was called as uttaranchal and now it is called called as uttarakhand And the next news is Tirvendra Singh Rawat inaugurated country's longest motorable suspension bridge in Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand Chief Minister Tirvendra Singh Rawat he inaugurated the country's longest single land bridge that is from uh, Dogra to Chandi. This 725 meter long bridge is uh, presented in Tihari Garhwal district. This bridge connect both uh, Pradap Nagar with Tihari Garhwal district headquarters. and more about uh, uttarakhand is the union minister of uttarakhand is trivendra singh rawat and the governor of this is baby rani maurya the next we can see about business affairs the first news is 15th finance commission led by nk singh submit its report to president ramnath govind nk singh head at 15th uh, finance commission submitted its report to president ramnath govind for the first five uh, official years from 2021 to 22 to 2025 to 26 that is for these two academic years and then more about this is the finance commission will also present a copy of the report to prime minister and the other members of this commission include ajay narayanan ja professor anup singh and dr ashok la Lahiri and Dr. Ramesh Chand. The commission has recommended that the states shall get 41 percentage from earlier and 42 percentage of central tax revenues. The commission has also states the sta- states that all the states of India to keep aside at least 8 percentage of their budget for building healthcare capacities. They have given 4.5 lakh crores for the local governments also. And the next is about awards. Bollywood actress Vidya Balan short film Natkant acquires eligibility for Oscar nomination. Vidya Balan short film Natkant become becomes for Oscar nomination after winning the top prize at the third edition of Best of Indian uh, Short Film Festival 2020. The film has been directed by Shandyas and co-produced by Roni Screwwala and Vidya Balan. The film also received a prize money of two thousand five hundred dollars and an opportunity for a television broadcast deal on Shorts TV. The next is about rankings and reports. The first news is RBI report. Uttar Pradesh secures first place in MSME employment generated during COVID nineteen situation. As per the RBI report, Uttar Pradesh has secured top spot among five states in the country that gives employment under MSME during COVID nineteen pandemic. The state government also signed MOUs with various industries. for the creation of 11 lakh jobs within a year and the top 5 states are the first place was taken by uttar pradesh and the second is madhya pradesh third is tamil nadu fourth is maharashtra and the fifth is gujarat and more details about uttar pradesh is the governor of uttar pradesh is anandi ben patel and the capital of uttar pradesh is lucknow and the chief minister is yogi adityanath the next is about summits and corporations Union External Affairs Minister Chairs for the Indian and Philippines Joint Commission on Bilateral Cooperation Union Minister for External Affairs that is uh, S J Shankar chaired the fourth Indian and Philippines Joint Commission on Bilateral Cooperation virtually through video conferencing the Philippine side was represented by Theodora Loxin that is junior and the secretary department of foreign affairs both nations agreed to make the defense engagement a uh, maritime time cooperation and to counter terrorism they also agree to boost cooperation in the areas of tourism agriculture energy health and pharmaceuticals and more about philippines is the president of philippines is rodrigo duterte and the capital of philippines is manila the next news is about sports 
Daniel Medvedev wins Paris Masters 2020 and he defeats Alexander. Paris Masters 2020 title was won by Daniel Medvedev that is who belongs to Russia. He defeated Alexander from the country of Germany and Medvedev is the fourth Russian to win the Paris Masters. Medvedev has uh, now won 8 ATP titles. Earlier this Paris Masters 2020 was won by three other uh, Russian people. And the next is about obituaries. Noted filmmaker Sudarshan Ratan passes away. Popular Bollywood filmmaker Sudarshan Ratan passed away due to COVID-19. He has also had all the written, directed and produced the 1996 action drama film Hahakar. He was also well known for his film Manav Hatya which was uh, released on 1986 and uh, this film was starred by Madhuri Dixit and Snehan Suman. And next is about the important days. The first is National Legal Services Day is observed on 9th November that is yesterday. Every year National Legal Services Day is celebrated on 9th November. This day is observed to remember the enactment of the Legal Service Authorities Act 1986. The main aim of this day is to raise awareness of the various provisions under the Legal Services Authorities Act and the right of litigants. And the next is World Science Day for Peace and Development is celebrated on November 10. World Science Day for Peace and Development celebrated on November 10 every year. The aim of this day is to give awareness about the role of science in society. And the focus of World Science Day 2020 is on science for and with society in dealing with the global pandemic. And that's all for uh, 10 11 2020 20. if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and click the bell icon for more details thank you